Hi and welcome to MQW Driving School YouTube channel. We're back again with the 17 competencies and heading forward to the next line in your teaching and learning strategy. So today we're going to cover the competency which is not so hard but still very important to understand. So I'm going to read what opportunities and examples used to clarify the learning outcome. So first of all, in this job, you maybe have a stories about the other client, which you can use as an example. Like, do you know if I don't look there, what can happen? Oh, you're going to crash the car. Thank you. So you understand this? Yes. So when you need to move the car, what you should not forget. Oh, should be looking my mirrors. And why? So I don't also crash. Thank you. So now that means you are using the opportunity and example to clear the student learning outcome. So today maybe you're using this example for the outcome that maybe the student is lack of watching the mirrors and blind spot area. And you want to explain him with your life example an opportunity to use to help him understand why it is so important to check the mirrors. Now according to your competencies, this is important for you to utilize all the materials you have like learning styles, suit with the student uh, teaching style with the learning styles, match it. So now you try to use opportunity. Live examples are more better than old examples. Or some example which you think your student already have faced with you in the lessons. Link the scenarios you guys also in it. So for example, or do you know how we overtake the horses yesterday? Oh yes, I remember. Now we're getting one more in front of us. Do you know how to do this time now? Or you want me to remind you? I think I still remember. Okay, I'll wait for you then. Do you know how we overtake the cycle every time? Yes. So now we got the horse in front of us. Oh yes. Can you use the example of how to overtake the cycle and we can link it and use the same way to overtake the horse but instead of one and a half meter to the cycle, we this time try to give two meter to the horse because horse can turn around. Oh yeah, that's, I can link that one and I can do it. So this is what we call use opportunity and examples to create the student learning outcomes. One student do some mistake and you want him to analyze his problems, analyze his mistake and you say what solution you have. Then you want to give some example to make him understand why I have to verbally or physically intervene you today. Why I, why it was important for me to save you from the critical incident. For example, if you would have done it, blah, 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 that can happen. So you also use that time a live example is an opportunity to help him understand his problem, his mistake. Then you come to the remedy. Remember the three core competencies we were talking about in the last videos? Pick the fault. Talk about, analyze the problem. Ask him, let him think, encourage him to think. Then come with the remedy. Talk about the examples, opportunities, examples. Come with a solution. Let them work with the solution practice the solution and then finally if they're doing it very well praise them so now i'm going to read some wordings one by one then i will explain you if we have to so while training in technique is a core to the learning process it is important to reinforce their input and to link it with the theory okay guys same do you know that when you Study in the theory test, you already have seen this sign. Oh yeah, it's a meeting traffic sign. Well done. Thank you so much. Now I believe you already have given the right answer in the theory because you already have passed the theory test. So do you know what this sign means? Yes. So now you tell me who's going to stop, who's going to go. Oh, is their priority. Good. So where I should be stopping then? Or oh, there should be a line by the line. Well done. So now do I have to tell you what to do here? Or you will take your own responsibility and you just use it. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. I think I can do it. Well done. Thank you. Let's do it. 
So that means you are reinforcing the information the student already have. You are trying to link it with the information you already have. You already have passed the theory test. You already have studied in the books already. You don't have to tell him everything. You just need to use an opportunity to link it together, the old information in today's lesson. Linking old and new and less work today. So that is what you should be using as a technique. Teaching style suit with the learning style. So that's one of the line meaning. Now the best way to do this is to use the real world examples. Why real world? Because student will understand what's in front of them and they can use this as an example. Okay, Kasim, can you please pull up on the left side anywhere safe? Okay, that's fine. Now, can you see this meeting traffic sign in front of you? Yes, what the sign means? Oh, I don't have a priority. Now, I want you to look on this car coming from your right. What you expecting from this car when he see the sign? Or this car should go and stop with the giveaway line and do what? Wait for the oncoming cars. But what if there is no one coming from the front? What do you think this car going to do then? Still stop or go? Oh, then it should be keep on moving. And why? Because if there is nobody, then why you need to stop? Thank you. Well done. That is the answer I wanted from you. Do you understand the scenario? Sometimes you don't have to stop if there is no one. Do you remember we used to do open junction, close junction? So what you call if somebody is coming, close junction. What you see nobody is coming then? Open to go safe to go thank you so now when we are moved from here maybe we don't have anybody coming so it does not mean you stop the car if there's nobody imagine if you stop what will happen oh the car will not expect me to stop and then they crash into me at the back then i will be in the accident situation then blah 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 thank you now you came to the conclusion why we should not stop do you understand this example i try to help you with your learning. Yes, I understand what you're trying to make a point here. Thank you. Let's move when you're ready. So, live examples. So, try to use the live example. So, whenever you pull up on the left side, picking the student fold, try to do the analyze of the fold and you want to give the remedy and you can try to explain them You uh, that I save you from the critical incident today by using intervene verbally, physically. Now, look what this guy is doing. What do you think, blah, blah like this right so that way you are using the live example which they can see in front of their eyes right now so that means learning can take place more easily more quickly in your lesson okay if you're talking about the past maybe they forget their past no not all the people remember their past and not everybody like to live in the past so live today is the best way to teach so, the best way to do this, real world situations during the lesson or examples. Then, the use of practical examples and scenarios on the lesson give the people a better understanding. This is what I try to explain to you. When you use the practical examples, like real world examples, practical, that works more. Okay, You can talk about the electric cars, you can talk about uh, getting uh, robotics, this, this, this. That's a real world today's examples. If you use about the uh, carts like a uh, horse carted in the back days, 19, 1800, that's an old example. He did not see in this world. So that is maybe not ideal for him. So today's example, he live in 2024, electric car, robots. This is the live example for today's world. So that is the practical examples according to him. And how and why to use this particular technique? because it will help your student with the better outcome learning and you are only using this example to help them in their learning outcomes you're not giving the example which is not related to your topic nothing to do with the lesson you're not going to help your student at all don't use that examples use the example which help him to learn the topic or critical incident or the better learning of what you're trying to do next this can be done, for example, you can ask the people like what is the importance of the mirror check in direction check, which I told you in the start of the session, that this is one of the example. Okay, Kasim, well, I need to move off. Okay, where you should be looking? There. And which first? This one. Then this. Then blind spot. 
why the sequence or oh, because I want to see at the back if you're already looking at the back why is important to look this one then or maybe I cannot see everything there then okay then why are you doing both of them then oh there is a still chance I can forget about it thank you so much that means you are trying to use examples to clear the learning outcome before you actually going in a situation now the good numbers where you can get the good numbers if you do this job so for example if you're using examples to identify on a lesson in a suitable way and at a suitable time right time to say right things to confirm or reinforce understanding of the student that means you are doing a good job so saying the right thing at the right time using the right example at the right time and help him to take opportunity to talk about it for example if your student did the mistake of overtaking the cyclist and you pull over same time you see there is a cycle in front of you and this car coming from your right he's overtaking the cycle say can you see this now can you see the cycle can you see how he's overtaking the cycle can you see how much clearance he's giving to the cycle can you see this yes so that is a live example but you did not miss the opportunity to use it at the right spot at the right time because that is what he did the mistake and that is why you're pulling over to discuss so now you are utilizing it so you don't want to miss the opportunity to use example okay so always look in your surrounding you always going to pick up something which you can use it as an example keep that as a habit don't try to pick up the book and try to explain because when you pick the book and say oh can you look here please in the book then the technically both of you looking inside the car like down in the book like this then who looking outside try to use the outside example don't try to go in the book only see the world and use example not the books example only okay sometimes students don't like to see the books again and again so second good numbers if you do these kind of jobs you exploring different ways to use example all this giving I'm already giving you the example to explain this one now take my example now I'm using opportunities and example to help you to understand this line in the core competency so I'm also using opportunities and examples so that is what you do for your lesson this is my lesson to you and I'm using opportunities and example to help you to understand this line of your competencies that is what you do with your student same thing so you're exploring different ways to use example to respond to different differences in preferred learning style remember we talk about teaching style learning style every student have different learning style so you can't use the one same teaching style so try to adopt your teaching style with the student learning style every time or ask them straight away what you like to learn how you like to learn then you can adopt your style according their style and then their preferences as well if you're doing this you get good numbers three numbers two depend but good numbers you are using examples that are within the student range of ability and experience so they can understand your examples so for example your last job was a university english teacher professor now you're using the example from shakespeare book very good well done but i am not your level so you can't try to use your shakespeare examples and using the big big bold bold english words with me making some kind of like a dialogue from the english movie or whatever the famous dialogues of the scientist blah 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 don't do this unless you are handling the same kind of a person if i'm an english professor in the past and i'm dealing with english professor now who teach shakespeare to the student i can use that example because that's goes his level but don't try to use which is not going to work with your student try to understand their level and use the example which is on their levels so that is also important for you to find out their experience and ability so you know what example i should be giving to the student according to his level to understand okay so that's important if you do this job good numbers second you should be recognized that some people will be able to respond instantly another 
will take the time to uh, think about the issue and then do it later. Same thing, teaching style, learning style, not everybody same. You can't apply the same method of teaching to everybody, which we sometimes see. As a PDI, you guys have less experience to teaching different, different clients. You always have a beginners. You don't know how to handle the full license holders. You don't know how to handle refresher lessons or somebody who coming from international, different uh, goal and needs, experience, ability, and you try to teach them according to the book page by page, reading each and every words, forcing them to look on the picture, forcing them to pull up on the left side, spending 10, 10 minutes to try them to explain. Try not to do this with everybody unless they need it. So find out what you need. If you're doing the good job, you get do good number. But if you do opposites, anything I'm telling you now, if you do opposite, you lose the numbers. So I'm telling about something which not a good thing to do in the test where you lose numbers. So for example, you are using example where the student have no understanding about it and they have lack of experience and you're trying to think that I'm doing my job giving you a good opportunity to use example but your example is not according to my ability and experience, is not working on me, is going over my head your example, your wording, your English, like that. How many times we get international drivers? How many times l less English? Different countries, Arabic, lot of different, different countries, they don't speak English. So you can't use the words which they don't understand. Otherwise, your example is going in waste. Don't think you did the example, live example, like a, what you say, daily basis example. But if it's not working on me, your example is going in waste. So think about me first, my level, then talk about it, then give me example. You are using complex example. Same thing I'm talking about. You are using complex example that the people does not have the ability to respond to. Then is no advantage. You're failing to give the people time to think. You're telling me to think, but not giving me time to think because you think when you're telling me to think, I'm going to take one second and you can't have no patience and now straight away you start telling me some more examples or trying to come with a conclusion but not waiting for me to analyze my own problem in my own time which is a reasonable time for me you have to understand me my level first then deal with me then you try to impose something on me interpretation or something through the books with your example live example but remember, you can't enforce anything on me. I want to learn from you in my own learning pace, in my own style. I maybe take time. Let me think, please. Don't tell me the answer. Let me think. No, 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 no. You have to listen to me. No, you can't. Client center. They are your not just student, client. Why they use the word client? Client center. Client will stay in the center. Client center, learning techniques, teaching techniques. Client in the middle, in the center. You need to adopt your teaching style in his boundary he already made for his learning. That is what you need to understand. Then you will know what example is the best example for me to use, when and where, according to his level of ability and experience and wait for him to mm, oh now I understand what you're trying to tell me let them think they can't respond straight away is a is a very simple line when you read it in your 17 competencies mark sheet sometimes people ignore it why because it don't come under the risk management and you think oh that's so easy use examples opportunity so simple Try to say to your student, do you have any question? And one time the student will say, yes, I have a question. And now, before you give the answer, sometimes you will say, can I give you one scenario? Can I give you one example? Now you tell me the answer. Oh, actually your example already clear my answer. Now, so you got your answer already. Yeah, with the scenario you just told me, the example you told me already got my answer. I can help you in any other way. Now I think it's clear now. Should we apply what you're asking me in the live example? Oh yes, let's do this. So there we go. You link. Linking every single 
thing in teaching is important. So as I said, sometimes it looks so simple when you read it, but when actually you have to do it, you don't do it, so you lose numbers. And each competency is you try to gain three. If you can't take three, at least you get two, but your score will be more than enough to pass first time in your test. Each line is important, each word in is, is important in your 17 competencies. Don't ignore it. Each word can be a full book. If I say live examples, opportunity, learning outcome, you can write the book on just these three words. So every single thing is important. So I know it's getting a bit lengthy now, but thank you so much for watching today. We will come back again for the next competencies. It's going to be simple again. It's not too hard, but again, as I said, if it's not hard, it does not mean you should ignore it. Where it is, let's say if it's look easy to you, you should get three then. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.